guys welcome back to my youtube channel again this is algelin m guillermo teacher angel of native cam so to those who are just new in this um youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe um like this video and hit the notification bell so um um, for the last, uh, for my last videos, I told you that I'm going to share to you kung ano yung mga ginagawa ko sa classes ko. And also, like, um, meron na kasing nag-PPM. And then, actually, guys, um, parang late ko na talaga nag na, 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 pag, na, nag -decide na, na, na talaga ako nag-decide na mag, mag-gawa-gawa ng mga videos or ng YouTube channel. Kasi nga, parang ang awkward kasi parang, um, I mean... Uh, yung, even yung first video ko, it took 3 days yata yun bago ko talaga na, na, na take or natapos ko yung video. Or, I mean, naging successful yung first video ko. Kasi nga, parang ang awkward. Parang ganun yung nasa, nasa isip ko. So, parang nahihiya ako. So, kahit nga, wala akong hiya. So, yun guys. So, in this video guys, I'm going to share to you like, ano nga ba yung mga um, ginagawa ko in most of my classes. And, um, kasi, baka sabihin ng iba na newbie ka pa, nagbibigay ka na ng tips. So, parang, ito na lang guys, um, I'm going to share to you um, my, um, my, uh, my tips na lang based sa experience ko as a public school teacher for 9 years at based na lang sa experience ko um, working in another ESL company for 7 months and also dito for more than 1 month. So, uh, may mga nagtatanong like, uh, paano ba magkaroon ng classes or book classes, or kahit sudden classes. Kasi may mga ibang students, I mean, teachers dito na, um, kahit sudden class, nahihirapan sila. Now, um, especially sa mga newbies, um, okay lang yan, huwag kayong madiscourage, kasi usual lang yan, normal lang yan dito sa native camp, na if it's your first week, let's say first three days, two days, four days, talagang mahihirapan pa kayo magkaroon ng mga kahit sudden class. And then, um, magwa-wonder kayo, bakit wala pang book class? Okay lang yan. Normal lang yan kasi wala ka pang rating sa profile mo. Kasi yung nakalagay pa sa profile mo is counting. So meaning wala ka pang rating. So talagang mahirap magkaroon pa ng class. And then, um, so... In that case, kapag wala ka pang um, rating, so kailangan mo talagang i-improve is yung profile mo. Kasi la yan lang yung pagbabasihan ni student na mapipili ka. Like, um, dapat ayusin mo. Basahin mo ulit yung self-introduction mo. Kung pwede pang ma-improve yun, you improve it. And then also, um, upload more pictures. Yung feeling nyo parang uh, magagandang pictures nyo. Uh, interesting pictures nyo. I-upload nyo yun. And then, yun nga lang kapag wala ka pang um, bank details or TINA number, hindi ka pa, pa talaga makakapag-upload or hindi ka pa makakapag-edit ng profile mo. And with regard, regarding to your um, yung video, actually guys, uh, do not worry about that kasi si admin na yung mag-upload. Remember yung sa demo part, yung nag-shoot kayo ni admin. So yun yung i i-upload ni admin. Uh, maybe it will take uh, three to four weeks bago yan ma-upload sa um, profile mo. And if, let's say, meron ka ng video na upload na ni admin yung sa uh, during sa demo nyo na video, um, you can actually um, change that one. Pwede ka mag-take ng video, ng sarili mong video, and then i-upload mo, i approve yan ni admin. So, yun na guys, yun na yung mga dapat yung gawin pa, kapag wala ka, ka pang rating. And then, nahihirapan kayo magkakaroon ng sudden class. And then, let's say, um, meron ka ng rating. And then, nahihirapan ka pa rin magkaroon ng sudden class. So, ano yung rason kung bakit wala kang sudden classes, wala kang book classes, pero may rating ka? Kasi, guys, most of the students here dito kay Native Camp, um, tinitingnan talaga yung rating. Let's say, um, kapag ang rating nyo is more the, uh, less than 4.90 uh, let's say, uh, kasi may mga 4.89, 4.87 na okay pa rin yung uh, classes na let's say, um, bababa like 4.85 pababa, 4.75 pababa, medyo mahirap talaga, like mataas yung waiting time niyo kasi nga gaya ng sabi ko sa last videos ko yung um, profile kasi natin naka-arrange yan sa like, from highest rating to lowest rating. So, parang marami kayo naghihintay niyan. At parang, um, nasa below ka, kaya hindi ka masyadong napapansin. Pero, wag mawala ng pag-asa kasi mapapansin ka rin in time ng mga students. So, ganito yon. So, first nyong uh, i-work out or i-work on is actually, um, pataasin mo muna yung rating mo. 
paano ba mapapataas yung rating? Of course, you conduct or you have more sudden classes ba? You be, be on standby, um, be patient. And kasi during sa daytime, medyo mahihirapan ka kasi maraming mga teachers na standby So, may iba na nagsta-standby sa madaling araw or uh, GY ang tawag namin or graveyard. Kasi during that time, konti lang yung mga teachers na nagtuturo. So, malaki yung chance mo na mapipili ka ng student. So, uh, take that opportunity for you na magkaroon ka ng mga maraming classes. Now, dalawa lang yung uh, kahihinatnan kapag maroon ka ng maraming classes. So, First is, maybe you will improve your rating. Tataas yung rating mo. Especially kapag uh, malaki yung mga stars na ibib uh, rating na ibibigay ni students. Now, another one is, another possibility is, my possibility na bababa yung rating mo. Especially kapag hindi nagustuhan ni student yung pagtuturo mo. Kasi madadagdangan naman na yung mga low ratings mo. So, make sure na kapag, uh, let's say, um, mag, uh, magkakanda ka ng classes ng maraming classes, do your best. I know naman na you are doing your best. Maybe, um, um, parang, uh, not in the right way. Parang ganyan. Kasi, uh, meron kasing maraming atake kasi sa teaching styles. Kasi, um, um, each student, different personality, different learning capability. So, dapat iba-iba yung teaching style na gagamitin natin. So, Ito yun. So, yun yung ang gagawin nyo kapag gusto nyo magkaroon ng sudden, maraming sudden classes, i-improve mo yung, um, yung rating mo. Paano? Conduct more sudden classes and make sure you are doing your best if you have your classes para yung sa isang option kayo or yung sa isang possibility kayo mapupunta. Tataas yung rating nyo. Now, especially ngayon sa mga newbies, wala pang, wala pang rating. So, ito yung gawin nyo. Yung first goal ninyo is magkaroon kayo ng class before uh, before Sunday 11 p.m. And then make sure kahit dalawa lang yan, tatlo lang yan, apat lang yan na classes, okay lang yan as long as five yung binibigay nila sa inyo. Kasi uh, as long as mag kasi kapag ganyan na mayari since konti lang yung yung ratings nyo, so pa, pa, uh, let's say tatlo yung uh, yung five stars mo and then yung isa is uh, maliit na rating. So, there's a, a greater chance talaga na yung average na rating mo is maliit talaga. So, as much as possible, try your best na yung four classes mo, first four classes mo is magiging five siya. So, yun lang. Kasi guys, sa Monday, since meron na kayong rating, let's say five, dadami talaga yung sudden classes nyo dyan. Um, like, sa mga experiences na mga ni-refer ko, like, first four days nila kasi nga wala pa silang uh, rating. And then after Monday, let's say on Monday, nagkaroon na sila ng five stars. I'm so happy for them. So, marami na silang mga sudden classes ngayon. As in, like, marami na din silang mga book classes kaya talagang happy ako for them. So, yun lang yun guys sa mga newbies na wala pang mga, mga rating. Now, balik tayo doon sa mga... Uh, mga uh, my rating pero maliit. So, yun lang. Conduct more classes and then make sure do your best. And then, how to do your best nga pala. So, yun yung, uh, kasi maraming mga paraan para, uh, like, sabi, isipon mo, I did my best pero bakit maliit pala yung rating ni, ni student. So, ito yung mga ginagawa ko guys. Like, um, first is like, for your physical appearance, I'm not saying that you have to be very beautiful, no, no. Like, sa mga damit mo or outfit mo. Kasi, uh, parang napapansin ko kasi guys, uh, parang uh, may mga students talaga dito na particular sila sa mga sinusuot ng teacher. Uh, in my case, talagang nagpo-polo shirt talaga ako. Never pa ako nag-class dito na nakaparang pambahay. Kasi may napapansin ako dito na mga students na kahit nasa bahay sila na nagka-class, naka-polo shirt pa rin sila. Meron pa nga isang naka- yung ibang students dito na nakapalong, nakapag long sleeve. So, kapag nakapambahay ka lang, then si yung student nakapa, nakapolo, naka long sleeve, parang yung, kung, kung titingnan, parang ikaw yung naging student. Si, si student yung naging teacher or professor. So, yan, as much as possible, um, be like um, formal yung sa attire mo. And then, also like, kasi during sa first two weeks ko talaga, guys, wala na talaga akong time na magkilay pa, mag eyeshadow pa. So yung ginagawa ko na lang is yung maglipstick lang. Hindi pa nga ako nangihilamos noon. So um guys, uh, as much as possible, like you wear light makeup. Huwag naman yung over na makeup na parang parang aatan ka ng party. Like 
maghilay ka, um, eyeshadow, konting eyeshadow, coding pulbo, and then lipstick. Okay, yun lang para try to uh, to look presentable sa student natin. Kasi parang yun yung, mag, yung may ibang mga students na yun yung titingnan nila. Again, you don't need to be very, very beautiful. Basta be presentable lang talaga sa mata ng mga ating mga estudyante. Kasi meron din ako na-experience yung, yung kakilala kong teacher. And I message siya sa akin kasi nag-wonder siya bakit maliit yung binigay ko. Like four stars na yung binigay ng student. And then sabi niya, okay naman yung klase nila. Pero naisip niya na siguro dahil sa suot niya kasi nakapambahay lang siya. So, yun yun, guys. So, next is, um, always wear your smile. Like ako, guys, whenever I welcome my students, talagang, smile talaga, like, Hi, welcome, I'm so happy to see you. Oh, how was your day today? Talagang smile talaga. Like, kahit even yung nagbabasa si student, let's say, uh, si student nagbabasa ng article. Ako, guys, talagang smile lang talaga ko yan, like, Talagang ganyan lang talaga ako, guys. Like, uh, kung mababasa nyo sa mga reviews ng students ko, parang yun yung mga reviews nila. Like, the teacher has a warm smile. The teacher always smiles. So, yun yung mga nababasa nila sa reviews ko. And then, yun nga yung mga, uh, mga students ko, yun yung mga sinasabi nila. Like, um, like uh, I always smile daw. Like, um, feeling daw nila, uh, relax daw sila sa klase. Kasi nga, yung teacher always nag-smile. So, Um, yeah, and always smile and um, make yourself like uh, make your class like um, very light. I mean, parang hindi ma pressure yung student. So yun yun, especially yung mga baguhan or beginner, uh, talagang kinakabahan yan sila sa mga classes nila. So as much as possible, um, be friendly or be uh, kahit hindi ka friendly sa personal, kahit makipagplastikan ka na lang sa student. Like in my case, like yung pagod na pagod na talaga ako. So, smile lang talaga din after matatapos yung class. Ay, parang ganyan, ganun yung reaction ko. So, next is um we're done with your physical um chuchu. So, let's proceed to ha your student. So, kasi dito guys, um uh, you have to know your student. Like hindi naman pagpasok ni student malalaman mo na agad, hindi. Um from like as time progresses, para mapapansin mo kung anong klasing student meron ka sa class. Kasi ako, uh, like in my case, like sometimes I'm energetic, very lively, very energetic. Pero mayroong mga times na parang nililimit ko yung energy. Especially kapag napapansin ko na parang si student medyo snub or parang hindi nagsismile si student, hindi siya, like, hindi siya bubbly. So yung, yung personality ko is binabagay ko sa personality niya. Like, pero I still smile, parang ganyan. And then, no, you should know leveling. So, ano yung leveling? Like, uh, alam mo dapat kung paano i-level yung student. Beginner ba siya? Advanced ba siya? So, mapapansin mo actually yan, guys. Especially kapag nagsasalita si student. Nagsatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
in correcting your students. Kasi, um, like, in my case talaga, guys, guys uh, in my case lang na, I'm not saying that this is really correct. Uh, ito lang, based lang sa mga ginagawa ko. So, whenever, um, let's say the child or the the student is beginner. So, kapag nahihirapan siya magbasa ng isang word, do, 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 parang ganyan, you help, like, you say, duplicative. You help the student. Pwede kang mag, parang magsalita. Pero kapag napapansin nyo na parang nababasa ni student talaga, um, the, uh, the company, um, duplicate, like, parang ganyan, na mali, na mali niya pag-pronounce yung word, pero natapos niya yung sentence, okay lang yun, guys. I mean, I mean, do not correct right away the student. Like, nabasa niya, like, uh, duplicative. Parang ganyan. So, wag mo nang i-correct directly. Patapusin mo siyang matapos sa sentence or, par uh, sentence or paragraph. And then, that's the time na parang mag-send ka, mag ka sa chat box. Okay, again, how to read this word? Oh, okay. Let's say, mamali niya yung pag-pronounce. Uh, so, that's the time that you are going to give the correct pronunciation. Oh, we are going to read, uh, uh, this is how to read it, uh, duplicative. So, that's the time that you are going to correct the student and make sure you are going to wear your smile. Para parang hindi ma-intimidate si student. So, oh, uh, duplicative, that's how, to, uh, that's how we are going to read it. Okay, oh, good job. And then make sure you praise them. Like, good job. Kahit parang malihim pagka hindi talaga perfect yung pagka-pronounce niya, um, you still praise them. Okay? Kasi yung mga students, nahahappy sila whenever, when I say like, oh, very good! Good job! Na, nakikita ko sa kanila na parang na, na, nasisiyahan sila. So, yun lang. And then, let's say, talaga, nahi, like, yung word na really, nahihirapan sila niyan. Like, magiging lili sa kanila. Lili? So, it will really take, like, um, uh, three times ko talaga, pero wag as in, mag-take kayo ng five minutes na i-correct lang talaga yung word na really no. Um, okay lang, kahit hindi talaga ma-perfect no student yan. Kapag meron, ng, meron pang more time sa, sa end part, uh, do na, you add again the corrections or do the review sa words. And then, yun, dun yun sa mga beginners. Now, meron kasi mga advanced dito na mga learners. Yung mapapansin mo yan like, free talk or five minute conversation yung mga topic talk jan usually yung mga advanced na mga students so kapag jan very confident yan sa kanilang pag express ng kanilang thoughts I, I do not like wag kang magbat in agad like let's say na mali yung grammar niya no ah, kasi para kasing um, magiging parang ah, parang magiging insulto yan sa kanilang part Ganyan. So, yung ginagawa ko, guys, except lang yung mga close ko na ng mga students. Talagang um, nagbibigay ako ng corrections after the the class namin kapag may time pa. Pero yung mga ibang students, like yung mga first time student ko, and then nakikita ko na very confident sila pag-express ng thoughts na. Ang ginagawa ko, guys, nagtitake notes ako ng mga corrections nila dito, sinusulat ko, or tinatype ko sa chat box. Kasi marireview nila yan, tinatype ko, pero hindi ko talaga kasi sinasabi, oh, um, uh, that's not correct, this is the correct one. So, hindi yan, chinachat ko na lang yan. And then, sometimes, sinusulat ko dito sa notebook ko, para after our class, eh, message ko kung ano yung mga mali nila, like sa pronunciation, sa grammar, para machat nila dun sa message. So, yun yun guys, um, wag mag in kapag nakikita mo na parang, ang advanced na talaga yung mga students. And, ito pa guys, kapag may experience na kayo sa other ESL company, like, ako, na, sa iba, nasanay ako mag-TPR, good thing talaga na parang, uh, it, two years na yung, um, after two years pa, before ako nakapag-apply ng USL, ESL company, at least, hindi ko na-adapt yung talagang TPR doon sa isang company. Kasi, meron akong nirefer dito na, parang nasanay siya, kasi, as of now, nagtatrabaho pa rin siya sa 5 to Parang nasanay siya, like, yung advanced student, nakapag-TPR siya. Or, TPR means total physical response. So, talagang nag action ka. So, minimize that yan, guys. Especially sa mga advanced students. Huwag kang mag-TPR. Kasi parang na i yan sila. Like, bakit ka pa mag-TPR? Alam, alam ko naman yung mga sinasabi mo. Parang ganyan. So, avoid having TPR. Okay lang yung TPR like sa mga kids na mga, especially mga beginners or yung mga adults na talagang bago pa dito. Like, um, 
nahihirapan pa sila. Pwede kang mag-TPR. Like, in my case, nag-TPR ako, like, yung hindi nakukuha ng student na kailangan nilang basahin. So, I, okay, you read. You repeat after me. So, talagang nag-TPR ako, but not all my classes. Okay, next is, um, if meron ka pang uh, more time, let's say, meron kasi mga advanced students dito, like, after 9 minutes, or meron pang 9 minutes na natitira, 10 minutes. So, yung ginagawa ko is, um, at especially kapag napapansin ko na parang master na ni students yung mga yung activities, uh, hindi ko na binabalikan yun. Ang ginagawa ko na lang is, nagfo-focus na lang ako kung ano yung um, parang feeling ko na need ni student. Like, let's say yung topic na is about countable nouns. So, yung ginagawa ko is, nag nagbibigay ako ng mga activities like, um, Oh, this time, since we still have more time, oh, how about this? I'm going to give or name nouns, and then you are going to tell me the plural form of the nouns. Would it be okay? Oh, talungin mo kung okay kay student. Okay, so most of my students okay naman sa kanila. So yun, magbibigay ako na, oh, what's the plural form of this word? Kasi um, ma-amaze ma ma sila like uh, the word sheep. So, di ba yung um, usual na plural form is merong S or ES? Ma-amaze sila sa, let's say, sheep. So, uh, sasabihin niya nila, uh, sheeps? So, at least, you also, oh no, the plural form of the word sheep is still the same sheep. Okay? Um, Ma-amaze niya sila like, ox? Oh, you know what's an ox? Show you, you show a picture from your cell phone. Oh, you know, oh the plural form of the word ox is... Okay, sasabihin nila oxes or hindi nila alam. So, oh, it's oxen. Maa-amaze yan sila. So, yan. So, yun yung napapansin ko. So, focus on yung ano yung need ni student or let's say sa pronunciation. So, give more activities para, para ma-develop yung pronunciation niya. So, yun. So, kapag may meron pang taas na time. Next is, no, ano to? Oh, no. Dito, kapag mer meron ka mga uh, free free talk, guys, um, maganda talaga na parang meron kang background sa Japanese culture. Like, in my case, nanunood ako ng mga video sa YouTube about mga Japanese culture para uh, whenever um, nag, uh, nagsishare si student, at least makaka-relate ako and then makakapag-share din ako. So, yun yun. And then, whenever you have free talk, guys, um, huwag kang parang tanong ng tanong ng tanong. Make sure na parang pag magsagot si student, you respond and then parang makikipag-relate, makarelate ka. Like, oh really? Oh, just the same here. Like, mag-relate ka. Hindi lang yung parati, parati ka na nagtatanong. And make sure guys na parang um, wag mong i-dominate yung class. Like, in my case, napaka-talkative ko kasi. So, I try to do my best na parang hindi ko i-dominate yung class. Especially yung mga students na napapansin nyo na parang nagtitake ng notes, nag may ballpen na hinahawakan. Yung mga students na yan, guys, gusto yan nila na more time sa kanila magsalita. So, yun yung guys. So, uh, parang uh, okay lang na kapag, let's say, uh, whenever they have answers and then nag-iisip sila, like, um, wag mong madaliin sila. Give them time to think. Okay lang yan, like my dad air, let's say, uh, like how many seconds, okay lang yan. Pero, wag, man, wag naman paabuti ng 2 minutes, 3 minutes, wala pa rin sagot si students. So, like, give them clues. Okay? Basta do not dominate the class. Um, limit yung mga sinasabi mo. Kasi um, iisip, may, nas, na, may, na, na, may nakausap kasi ako na student. Um, sabi niya, nakapagbigay lang daw siya ng 4 stars sa teacher. Uh, yung, or 3 stars sa teacher. Nung, yung parati na lang nagsasalita din siya. Parang nakikinig na lang siya. Wala na siyang type, chance na magsalita. So, yun yun guys. Um, um, as much as possible, um, parang Huwag kang, maging, huwag kang masyadong maging talkative sa class nyo. Si student dapat yung talkative. Okay, next is um, um, five minute discussion. Sa so five minute discussion, guys, um, di ba mayroon tayo mga questions yan provided? Actually, sa case ko, guys, hindi ko, hindi ko parang um, ginagamit lahat yung mga questions yan. Minsan pa nga, hindi ko um, nagagamit yung mga questions si John Kasi may mga questions kasi na parang hindi related or I mean, hindi mas maiintindihan ni students. Okay, and make sure, make sure na parang huwag kang mag-direct na gumamit ng mga given questions. Like, let's say, animals. Like, sa question kasi doon sa 5-minute discussion, parang 
uh, what animals do you like? Parang ganyan. Parang diretsyo na siya. In my case, tinatanong ko muna si student, na, oh, do you love animals? So, th- whenever, if magsabi si, si student na, yes, I love animals. I like animals. So, that's the time that you're going to do the, uh, the next question. Oh, what's your favorite animal? So, wag kang mag-assume agad na, what's your favorite animal? Kasi baka merong mga students na, ayaw ng animals. So, yun yun, guys. And next is, um, so yun nga, very, a uh, conversation. Let's say, ito naman, guys. Di ba meron mga, meron mga, mga lessons na parang merong short conversation, merong role play, role play. So, yung ginagawa ko, guys, especially kapag yung characters sa conversation is si, let's say, si Charlotte at saka si, si David or si Aiden, si Noah. So, binavari ko yung voice ko, let's say, Uh, if it's a male character, ginagawa kong male yung bosses ko. Oh, how are you doing today? Parang ganyan. Then kapag girl naman yung character, girly girly din yung voice ko. Um, kasi napapansin ko sa students ko, pag ginagawa ko yan, parang na- naaaliw sila. So yun yun. So parang gan- yun lang yun guys, yung masasabi ko, yung masishare ko sa mga ginagawa ko. Kapag meron pa akong nakalimutan guys, ay uh, don't worry, I- i-include ko lang yan sa mga next videos ko. And again guys, hindi ko sinasabing napakagaling ko, no, 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 no. Um, ito lang yung, sinishare ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung usual na ginagawa ko sa klase ko. Kasi um, as out of my almost 700 classes guys, Uh, na, na, one month pa lang ko or maybe uh, uh, basta April 18 ako nag-start today is um, June so June 5 so parang more than one month pa ako so naka uh, almost 700 classes na ako so so far pa naman guys I'm so happy na parang out of my 700 more than 700 uh, no more than 600 classes ang uh, 3 pa lang yung um, yung low rate, ang pinakamaliit ko na rating is 4, at saka tatlo pa lang yung nagbigay ng 4 stars sa akin. Yung isang student is yung student na 1 minute lang kami nakapag-conduct ng class, and then, biglang na naputol, sudden class yun, like, ano yun, Monday siguro yun, or ano, basta naputol bigla, so wala kami, 1 minute, so nabigyan ako niya ako ng 4 stars. Hindi ko alam na pwede pala yun ipatanggal kay admin, kasi kapag, let's say, 1 minute lang yung klase nyo, hindi kayo nakapag-conduct talaga ng class, pwede kasi kayang, kayang ipatanggal kay admin, basta meron kayong proof. And then yung dalawa is yung isa, yung isang student, binigyan ako ng 4, actually hindi ko alam kung ba, kasi sa klase namin, parang feeling ko, gusto niya ako, I mean, hindi naman gusto, parang uh, she likes me as her, as his teacher, kasi at first, parang sinasabihan pa niya ako na, oh, you look like a model, parang ganyan, chinachucho, chinachurvan niya ako, so, parang yan, uh, pero, meron kasi siyang piniling textbook, so, very concerned ako na, oh, ano na ba tong sinasabi niya, wala na kaming time sa textbook niya, so, parang, nag-cut ako, like, sinabi ko, oh, I can see here that you chose this topic, so, Can we proceed this one? Can we start um, talking about this? So, siguro na parang hindi niya nagustuhan yun. Siguro parang gusto niya na mag-chick, mag-chichika na lang kami. Um, hindi related sa topic niya. So, yun siguro. So, lesson learned rin yan sa akin. So, parang kung ano yung feeling yun na parang gusto talaga yung students na parang mag-discuss lang kami nito. Okay, go tayo dito. So, yun yan guys. And guys, kapag binibigyan na kayo ng low rating ni, ni students, wag kayong parang... Ano ba yan? Kuripot? Parang ganyan. Instead, um, make it as a learning. Like, you reflect, like, bakit kaya ko binigyan ni student ng 3 stars or 4 stars? Yun yung dapat gawin. Like, mag-reflect ka, ah, siguro kasi um, kinorek ko siya right away or siguro um, always ko siyang kinokorek. So, yun yun, guys. Try to reflect on your own. Huwag kang ma-discourage ulit and then huwag mong sisihin sa students or, uh, I mean, Except lang yun sa mga root talaga ng mga students na sinasabi ng ibang mga teachers. So, yun yun guys. Um, make it as a learning for you. So, yun lang yun guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And um, pag may makalimutan ako, again, share ko lang sa next video ko. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something from this video. And again, this is Teacher Angel of Native Camp. Thank you so much and... See you next time and please don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!